The practical exercise that they propose to us is to change the contents of cell A2 of the sheet we have for the numeric value 3 and observe the effect this has on all the cells with calculated values. Then it tells us to undo this last change and leave it as it was at the start. We go to our Excel and we see that we have some numeric data entered in the first two cells. A 6 in cell A1, a 2 in cell A2, and from there on all the rest are expressions which, with reference to these these two values entered, or even the rest of expressions forming expressions. We would perform calculations involving chained expressions. These values depend entirely on the initial values. All of them somehow depend on the baseline value. Logically, if we change the 2 to a 3, the total would no longer be 8, and the subtraction would no longer result in 4. So, we see that Excel is very easy to use once we have entered or built the spreadsheet and inputted the operations that are carried out based on certain constant numbers or initial data. If we change the initial data, it is automatically updated with the new data. So, to change the 2 to a 3 will be as simple as selecting the cell containing the value we want to change. It has a 2 and we want to change it to a 3, we are in input mode, we press enter. When we hit enter, it is going to recalculate all the operations in such a way that the sum is now 9. The difference is 3, the product is 18, the division is 2, the power is 216, and the sum of all of them, in this case, is the value 248. We see that it is easy to recalculate expressions and to reassess the end result of a spreadsheet I have built. If I change the original data, I can see what would happen if the starting data were different. That's why Excel will be very useful for re-evaluating or studying different baseline hypotheses. Once I've made a change in a spreadsheet, remember that we have the undo button, which is activated. And with it, we can undo the last action or actions that we have carried out. In the specific case where we have written 3 in cell A2, if we click on the undo button, it will take us back to the starting point. If we click on the undo button, it will take us back to the starting point.